Hey guys, Justin here from Tin Man Electronics. BAM! Today I'm gonna to talk about variety packs because in my experience with electronics and purchasing components from DigiKey and whatever other websites, I have come across variety packs which I've bought and which I highly regret. And it's on the simple premise that you use more parts than you use some other ones. So I'm kinda of gonna show you what I mean I've got some heat shrink here that I bought in a variety pack, kind of crappy. I got some LEDs that I got from a variety pack on DigiKey. I don't even know the specs for half of these parts. And I also got a variety pack for resistors quite a while back. And that was just about useless because I use some resistors way more than I use others. So let's get right into it. And here is the, the pack of variety heat shrink from princess auto power fist brand so already it's a decently crappy brand of heat shrink and not just that but you pop it open and oh, look at all the rainbow look at the rainbow double rainbow oh my god worst thing ever seriously electronics not good i don't know any situation where i would actually use colored heat shrink like and and look like large colored heat shrink even more worthless already as it is i don't use large stuff this is not that large but still like some people just you know maybe they've got a small piece of electronics they just stick it inside some heat shrink and uh kind of make an enclosure like that kind of to uh uh hide it from the elements but like check it out there's there's large colored heat shrink so i actually i could see myself using it to cover an electronics project but to actually put on cable I don't think I would actually use any of this this green stuff maybe at the most but I think this selection of colored heat shrink that I got as a variety pack I would only use for making costumes which is not in my domain so there you go now the next one up is my variety pack of LEDs which I mentioned and these I got from DigiKey back when I first started electronics. So this box, actually this box is the most valuable part of the kit. It comes with, look at that, a whole bunch of different colored LEDs. Is it any useful? Maybe. I don't know. I'd have to test them out, but I haven't. And I don't know their specs. Like, are they all, you know, maybe like 2.1 volt drop like a normal LED or what? What are we talking about here? So... I did stock this up with a whole bunch of these little general purpose ones, but seriously, I, I don't even, they, they kind of give some part numbers, oh, but I have to search them up, like I don't have any specs. It'd be nice to have a manual with this, but I didn't get anything, so am I going to use these? No. If you want these, give me a private message, comment in the YouTube channel. I will give you these because I don't really want them. There you go. And like there's some three pronged. LEDs. Maybe these are addressable LEDs, but I don't know because look at that. Uh, this is one of the three pronged ones I'm talking about. One of the leads is longer, so I'm guessing it's still cathode and anode, and uh, maybe it's not addressable. So, fuck. Fuck if I know. But hey, it's a nice case that I could use for future parts. Maybe I'll put some SMD components in there if it's nice and uh, tightly sealed. And then I've got headers. These I just bought recently because I can't get enough of 100 thou headers. And uh, now I'm actually getting these all mixed up with my other headers. But this is a variety pack. You could just empty it out. Total variety pack kind of thing. Like everything is in, in a plastic bag. Here's some extra long lead male header, 100 thou. And... Like this stuff is, is pretty good, but I mean, I would just use the, the normal length one where you could just stick that into a breadboard. This stuff will actually come in handy, but some other stuff like right angle 100 thou header, that is a little more specialized. You still see people using it. It's still good I've got some because I could actually use it. But when you come to <laughs> two millimeter headers, like this stuff, you don't see very often. I'm using it on my quadcopter board because uh, I've got an XB style wireless transceiver. 
and it actually uses two millimeter pitch but I've never seen two millimeter pitch like f commonly used in some kind of open source electronics or anything so it's a little little worthless for that and then they give you a bunch of these little uh, di different shaped ones like a two by three one hundred thou that's pretty good actually I'd, if I knew I had these because I totally forgot about them I would have used this on my quadcopter board but instead I bought some individually now I know where to put them and again just two millimeter uh, pitch header kinda useless because I don't use it frequently I like to I like to have it breadboardable or uh, solderable onto a solderable breadboard so and some right angle female headers man this is getting pretty pretty serious I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this and then resistors this was the worst choice I've ever made okay no not actually but from DigiKey, I got a pack of variety <laughs> resistors, and literally, it was from I think like one ohm to one mega ohms, five of each, uh, each value, and that was really really useless. Why? Because I I use one uh, K resistors like jelly beans. I just pop that stuff in my projects. 2.7k, 3.3k, 5.6k, 8.2k. I use those ones frequently. And then they give me just five of them. Like seriously, I need way more. See, I think this is my own stock of 220 ohm resistors. There you go. 330 ohm resistors. I had to buy more because why? 330 ohm resistors. You use that for your LEDs to uh, to not overdrive them or blow them, which we will do later actually. Hmm. And uh, but no, I, I stocked myself up on 330 ohm because I only had five because it's a variety pack. So some variety packs do a bad job in giving you parts just all across the map, five of each. Oh, come on, useless because I'm actually using some more than I use others. But I have already seen SparkFun actually sells a kit, which I uh, which I did buy once, and it was actually good because they included more resistors of the ones you're going to use more frequently. They had 1Ks, they had 330s, and then they had all the other ones, except just in lower quantities because you don't need them as much. So that is my rant about the resistors. So I just plopped a bunch of these LEDs on a circuit just to see how they look, and it turns out they're actually just like regular LEDs. Look at that. And da -dum -bum -bum -da -dum -bum -bum -da -dum -bum -bum oh shit! Gotta put on my safety glasses, right? Let's see what happens. One out of time, baby. Whoa! Overdrive. It's yellow. It's yellow. Holy shit! That's a green LED. And then when I shorted it out, that's yellow. Hmm. Da, 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 da. That's cool. I'm gonna look that one up. That is amazing. Boom! Boom! Oh, same thing. What the heck? This one's. No, it doesn't smell like burnt electronics, but this is. It's getting more deeper and deeper red as I hold it for longer and longer. Oh. Oh. Poor... Oh, I just killed it. Yeah. Yeah, I smell something. Okay, this is... These are very impressive LEDs. These are not burning out. Boom! Dead. Yeah, these, these LEDs are very resilient. And they're not burning out fast. I'm going to search up their specs because uh, that's insane. I was hoping to bust these motherfuckers. Okay. And how about one of the ones that I bought? I got these little green ones. I'm just going to slide it right in there. Right there. Let's see if it blows up. Bam! Nope. Well, that's boring. Okay, so I showed you my variety packs and how I kind of regret them. Except this LED pack, I could actually just take them all and throw them in a single bin. Because they're all mostly general purpose I found out that the three terminal LEDs that I pointed out are actually bicolor they have a red and a green and uh, I tried getting them going I gave them tried giving them more current and I couldn't get it going maybe I fried it 
I don't care about it though, whatever. I'll just throw those in the garbage or throw them in the pile of LEDs because I could use them in the future. General purpose, just for indicators, but I probably won't be using them for some, some of my more precise engineering projects. Oh, and I just remembered, I actually want to post uh, a page about my preferred manufacturers and my preferred parts, the most used resistors, capacitors, inductor values that I use, although I don't use inductors that much because this is electronics. Um, I'm going to post a page about that on my website on uh, www.tinmanelectronics.com. I will post it soon. I hope to update it constantly because I am always finding new parts. Uh, people always tell me about good new parts. If you have any tips or tricks about not getting variety packs or your favorite microcontrollers, resistors, ICs, logic chips, who gives? Tell me. I will put it in that, uh, that article I'm going to be writing. Stay tuned. So yeah. If you enjoyed this video or found it any helpful in not buying yourself a variety pack because it's a smart thing to do, give it a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment on it. I will reply and uh, subscribe to my channel. I am Justin, your host from Tin Man Electronics. That's engineering. Sing, cause your mama, your mama, your mama said. She said your mama, your mama, your mama, what? What your mama say? She said your mama, your mama, your mama, what? What your mama say? She said sing, cause your mama, your mama, your mama said. She said your mama, your mama, your mama, what? What your mama say? She say sing, cause your mama, your mama, your mama said.